Shalom, my brothers and sisters. I hope you've all been well. Let us turn together and read Psalm 47, verses 6 and 7. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sing praises to God. Sing praises. Sing praises unto our King. Sing praises. For God is the King of all the earth. Sing ye praises with understanding. Amen. And my brothers and sisters, he came and he said, It is a great day. And the people of God shall feel the presence of the glorious spirit of our Christ. So they cannot be silenced. God today is showing his hand unto them that may see and see how excellent he is in his works. That whatever he determined to do, he does not change his mind. So he's asking us to be conscious, my brothers and sisters, that whatever we do or say should be consciousness in which we do it that no one will hold us captive with what we say. The Spirit of God has come to show us the way we should go by knowing that the Spirit of God is with us, that knowing that we are not alone and knowing that the difficulties that we might face or face will not deter us from getting to our destination. Sing praises to God, sing praises. Sing praises un unto our King, sing praises. For God is the King of all the earth, sing ye praises with understanding. Sing ye praises that you are not made to do what you don't want to do. Sing ye praises because your encouragement and the understanding you have is that God is with you. Sing praises to our God. Sing ye praises. My brothers and sisters, who can have the mind to do what is called a barbecue without knowing the reasons? If we all can do barbecue at the same time, who will visit each other? Somebody has to see that what is happening to us is nowhere near. And it's not around. And it cannot be compared. The angel of God came and has come to tell us that the mouth shall not be shut and no one shall silence the mouth, the mouth of the people of God. We are asked to sing praises unto our God in every determination with understanding. Sing with understanding. Singing of understanding is that you know that you are standing on the pedestal that man cannot put you there but it's the spirit of God you are singing praises unto God with understanding sing praises with understanding that when a man asks you are you drunk you may say I'm not drunk you're singing praises because what has touched you has not touched everybody the feeling you have has not been felt by everyone sing praises my brothers and sisters he said sing praises with understanding sing praises because where you've reached was not by man's mind but by the spirit of God you're singing these praises today that your mother may ask you what is all this fun for and you may say unto a mum, it's not fun. It's because the feeling 
I'm having. I feel that no one has felt this feeling before. You sing praises with understanding because the Lord and our God has come to judge the earth. And he has triumphed over your enemies, he said. He said he has triumphed over our enemies. So you shall say, let me sing and sing with understanding. In Yeshua's name, we say amen. Rebuilding your confidence in Yeshua. The mortar that nobody can change his stature. You are building this confidence with the mortar that nobody can subtract from it. Today, you're building this confidence that whosoever may see you may know that something is working inside of you. May know that you are no longer yourself. That you may be able to say, ah, oh, you know what, let me just keep quiet because I'm in a place where the judges are waiting to see if something will drop from my mouth. And because of this, I'm going to keep silence. You are building this confidence, he said, with no exaggeration. You are building this confidence that our sons and our daughters may see and may follow, he said. That they may see that this God is not a blind God, but he is God with sight and has given us sight. He said, today, he said, wheresoever you are and whatever you do, you do it with understanding. God bless you all. These are the words of my mind.